Hola Dali, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, for this video I'm going to be doing a makeup look for mums that go to work and you know when you're a mum you're tired, you know, you've got kids to look after, you've got kids to kind of get ready first and then you've got to head off to work, you're knackered, you don't have time in the mornings to kind of do this whole huge like beauty routine and have like an hour to do your makeup. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can have glowy skin, looking bright, um, looking like you've had eight hours sleep when we all know that you had like an hour and a half last night because the baby had colic and you were up and the other child complained of a belly ache so you were up trying to look after them the husband was asleep and was just laying next to you snoring his fucking head off so yes yeah, so technically you only had an hour and a half but i'm gonna make it look like you had eight hours sleep okay so it's gonna be really quick it's gonna be really easy um you can use the normal things that you've got in your um, makeup, you don't need anything special, you don't need to go out and buy any of these things. Prepped my skin, um, so I will show you the things that I used. So I always tone, um, so obviously wash your face first. Um, I use a foam wash um, from the body shop which is brilliant but you can use any face wash that you want obviously I then use this toner by the body shop so um, it is the petal soft gel toner so it helps with moisturizing soothing and softens the skin and it is amazing and it smells amazing it has real rose petals in I don't know if you can see but yeah it's brilliant I then, as it's getting slightly colder, um, I use a slightly thicker moisturising cream. So I've been using this uh, Leave Me On Winter Mask. So it protects, moisturises, repairs, nourishes, and it is anti-aging. Um, this is very thick, so you really don't need to use a lot. I literally use a pea-sized amount and it covers my whole face and my neck. Um, I really recommend that you use a moisturiser. In the winter, you want to use a thicker moisturiser because your skin will get more dehydrated. Um, in the summer, you want to use a lighter moisturiser, so something like this. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water. Um, so you want to use something that isn't as thick, that's water-based would be best especially if you have oily skin um, as in the summer you're more likely to look shiny anyway because of the heat and the sun um, whereas in the winter your skin gets really really dry even if you have oily skin you are bound in the winter to get at least some dry patches um, so you want to make sure that your face and your skin um, is getting what it needs in the winter so this is definitely amazing and then I normally put on a hyaluronic spray this is from makeup revolution and this is amazing um, so you can put this on before makeup after makeup whatever but yeah this is amazing the first step would be to obviously cover your skin now it depends on what your skin looks like and what you're comfortable with now if you aren't comfortable with your, the way that your skin looks and that's fine like everybody's comfortable with you know different things um, you can go in with a foundation or if you think that actually um, no like my skin's all right you can just go in with a concealer so 
something like this so just going with the concealer under the eyes or if you have a BB cream or a CC cream which is kind of like a foundation but thinner and it's not as full coverage you can go in with something like that now I don't really use CC creams or anything like that um, so I'm literally going to go in with a tiny bit of foundation just to show you like a tiny coverage and then a little bit of concealer under the eyes to hide the bags this one is the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer but Makeup Revolution do really high coverage one Maybelline do an anti-aging one which is really really good as well um, I will link all these products down below in the description if you want to go out and get any of these they are super affordable um, I try not to use anything that's, that's too high end um, you know budget friendly makeup is best and you know they they do really good high quality products so I'm just going to go in with the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate I'm just going to take a tiny bit put it on my face oh <laughs> zoom you in wow and with a sponge like I said you know you don't have time to go full coverage so just do you know anything that you've got like I said a CC or a BB cream in this case would probably be your best choice um, but it's up to you and obviously what you've got at home and Like I said, if you want a little bit more coverage under the eyes, just get a bit of concealer, tiny bit there, and blend it in. Just to cover those bags there, okay? Now, there are two options. You can use a loose powder, or you can use a powder like this. Um, the quickest one is probably using a pressed powder so you can put a little bit under your eyes to brighten up that area a little bit on the forehead if you get greasy and just on the t-zone there if you want to use a loose powder that's also fine um, it works really well but obviously it's more of a fuller coverage some people prefer loose powders and some people prefer powders like this so it's up to you what you prefer now the next thing I do is just add a little bit of color to the cheeks so I'd go in with a bronzer like this so this is from the body shop um, and this is kind of like a golden shade bronzer so as you can see here it's baked bronzer and it's got a shimmer to it if you go with something too matte again it's going to look very harsh we are going for um, a very like bright look we're not going for a matte look so get a brush and you're just going to add a tiny bit of color to the face okay so no harsh lines just a little bit of color and you can put some on your forehead as well if you're like me and you've got a big forehead okay so just a little bit just enough to give yourself a healthy glowy look then I normally go in with a blusher so this is by Makeup Revolution as well um, in the colour Rhubarb and Custard. So this is a really, um, so this is a really soft colour blusher as you can see here. Um, it's not a really harsh colour, especially if you're pale like me. You don't want something that's going to be really dark on your cheeks. You want to make it look like you just have a 
a, a blushy glow. You don't want anything too harsh. So you're just going to start on the apples of your cheeks and work your way out. With powder, you don't want to start on the outside and bring it in, okay? You want to start towards the middle of your face and sweep outwards. So, so you want to start on the middle of your center of your face and sweep outwards. You don't want to do it the other way around because it will give it a very, very harsh look. So start here and sweep out and make sure it's all blended in nicely and if you want to just go in with your powder brush just to make sure it's all nice and blended okay right then if you want to go in with a highlighter so you don't want anything that's too sparkly you just want something that's going to give you a little bit of shimmer so what i would recommend is either liquid highlighter like this this is from makeup revolution or you can use a powder highlight it's up to you what you want to use um so i'm going to use a powder highlight and it's just gold like that okay and I'm going to go in with a brush like this go into my highlight very very lightly and just brush over my cheekbones you can put some on your nose okay Right, the next thing to do is eyebrows. So, I use the Makeup Revolution, what is it? Makeup Revolution Brow Pencil in dark brown. So on one side, it's got a brush, and on the other side, it looks like that. Okay, so, you want to create a very soft look with this so if i zoom you in so you can see so you want to brush the hairs up like this and then we are going to create very soft lines you don't want that insta brow for going to work so i normally start underneath So where the hairs are there, I'm going to create a soft line all the way to the end of the brow. And as you're doing that, keep brushing because it gives it a much softer look. And then again on the top. Now, if you don't normally do your brows, you can miss this part out. So, if doing your brows isn't in your daily beauty routine, then by all means, miss this bit out. You don't have to do this bit.
Okay, that's the eyebrows done. So, you don't want to go like proper insta brow, but this is how I normally do my brows. Now, brows do take a little bit longer, so again, like I said, if you don't have time or um, if you don't normally use your brow, do your brows, then just leave this bit out. So, going to move on to the eyes. So what I normally do if I'm just doing a really, really simple look, I'll get my eyelash curlers, I'll just curl my eyelashes, Okay, and then going with a bit of mascara. So this one's by Primark, this is amazing. I'm just going with a bit of that. Some on the bottom lashes as well. And then you can get some gloss. Um, you can get clear gloss or with a little bit of colour. And pop that on your lip. Now, if you do prefer a lipstick, I'd suggest maybe a nude sort of colour. So, got a few options. Oh, not that one. Got a few options, so something like that. That's the Makeup Revolution, that's the colour Embrace. So, a nude colour like that would be fab. And then, if you've got some time, I'd take a setting spray just to make sure that all stays in place for the day um, so I've got the iconic London um, so it's a glow spray it will keep you glowy for the rest of the day um, so you just want to shake that this is a little bit more expensive um, but there are lots of different sprays that you can use that make your skin glowy you don't have to use this one we'll just give that a spritz and it will give your face a nice little glow it's got a little bit of shimmer in it so it's really nice and that's the finished look so nice and quick and easy you don't want to make it really full coverage you don't want to make it look really really um full on you just want to make it look like you've had some sleep um and you don't have time in the morning to be doing a whole hour of makeup. You want it to be quick and easy. You've got the kids to get ready, you've got yourself to get ready, you've got to feed everybody, dress everybody. So this is the kind of thing that you can get up, you can do it quickly. You look glowy, you look like you've had some sleep, you look bright and you're ready for work. So here it is, I'll zoom in a little bit. So excuse the lighting, I'm using natural lighting today, um, but I've had to close one of the blinds because um, it was too sunny and it was just blinding, so couldn't see anything. Um, but if you've liked this video, please make sure that you subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. Um, hit that notification bell, even though we know it does fuck all, eh, eh? We know, and I say it every time because it's true. Um, so, leave a comment down below, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you know when I next upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.